fellow Diamond Painting Addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to kit up what I think are the last of my 30 by 30 kits for my September challenge. Uh, I had been kind of putting these off. The last of these are all kind of canvases that have a lot of white and I was hoping to get some other canvases in. However, with all of the things going on, apparently that's not going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and have these kitted up. I may switch them out if the other ones happen to arrive, but if they don't, then I've got these kitted up and ready to go. I have finished enough other diamond paintings that I now have some storage free so I can finish kitting these up. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous video, I'll stick a card up there with uh, the finishes that I have done so far, so you guys can check those out. So uh, let's see, what do I want to kit up first? Um, I'm going to use one of my 28 slot containers. I have already run all of these through my scanner and printed out my, um, not only stickers for my log books, but also printed out all of the um, schematics so that I can run them through my Xyron. So I'm going to do that really quickly for this one. And then I will show you which kit this is. This one does not have very many colors at all. It only has 15 colors, which is good. And it is just this cute little ladybug on a leaf. So um, I'm going to just get started here. Let me peel those off. And then I can cut all of this so that I can start putting on the um, stickers on my containers. I did a bit of cleaning this morning. I had some new stickers that I wanted to put on my table. Ugh, and you guys, I apologize. My printer, I swear. It makes zero noise until I start filming and then suddenly it's possessed. Uh, anyway, um, I rearranged and cleaned off my table here. It was kind of dusty, so I'm glad I did that. Dusted and cleaned some other things. Kind of cleaned up around my, my craft room to get things a little bit more organized. Because I always feel like I work better when things are clean and neat. So, okay, so let me show you the kit. Here's the kit. And as you can see, it's got a lot of white, which is one of the reasons that I had been kind of putting off doing that one. Not that I didn't like it, but just that, you know, it's a lot of white. Let me get the uh, drills out of the bag and kind of cut apart and then I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so I've got all of my uh, drills cut apart here. My first four look like they're small enough. They're each going to fit into uh, the individual containers. So I'm just going to make sure I have it going the right way here and stick on my stickers. so that I have my symbols and my DMC codes. Okay, so then let me cut these. Hopefully they all pour nicely so that I don't have stuff spilling everywhere. I still have one that escaped. Come on, get in there. Okay, now even though it's a ladybug most of it is white that's all the black that i've got which is not a ton so i am happy about that black always seems to end up being such a a trash color not that black itself is a trash color but just there always seems to be a lot of trash in those dark colors although i will say i have had a couple of kits where the light colors were almost as bad. So I'll be sharing those with you as I finish those up. Okay, so next one. Five, six, seven, and eight. Those will all fit, I'm pretty sure, each in one slot. So let me get the stickers here and get these put on. 
make sure I'm going in the right order here so I don't confuse myself because goodness knows that doesn't take anything at all. You guys, I was looking today, trying to sit down and go through all of my goals and figure out which ones I still need to meet um, and if I'm going to meet them. My Big Ten, I don't know if I'm going to meet that one. My, I keep getting distracted with other canvases, so I don't know if I'm actually going to finish all of my Big Ten this year. So we'll see. Um, I think I'm going to do okay on diamond painting hours, though I don't know if I'll make it. And I've already met my events goal. I'm pretty sure I'm going to meet my finishes goal. Um, but I was looking for new to me diamond painting companies that I could purchase stuff from. And I know I've asked you guys about that before, and I had several people give me some good suggestions, but they are companies that are in the UK. And since I'm in the US, ooh, nine looks like it might take a couple. So let me just put on nine and we'll see if it all fits in one. Um, Uniquely Yours has said, well, they're in Australia, which is also kind of further than I wanted to go. And they are having shipping delays because of shutdowns. Yep, needs to go in two. Okay, that definitely has to go into two containers. So let me finish pouring that in there. There we go. Okay, so 10 and 11, I think I can get each in one. And then we'll see. I have three bags of white, so definitely going to need more than one container for that. But I don't know some of these other colors, some of these greens, I may need more than one as well. Anyway, so I was looking for, you know, new to me companies, but ones that I thought would, you know, would be able to ship fairly close. Ones that I thought would be pretty quick to ship, just don't have anything I want at the moment. I know, first world problems. I can't figure out what diamond paintings I want to buy. And you guys, oh, I knew I was going to blow my budget anyway, but then Diamond Art Club came out with their mystery box. And since I'm, for now, still in the U.S. Ooh, can I get those all in one? Yes, I can. Um, I decided that I was going to go ahead and get it. Um, I know it's, especially with shipping, if you're not in the U.S., it being kind of a crazy price, but I couldn't pass it up. If For those of you who missed hearing about it, oops, those are not going to fit. Uh, they offered basically six kits plus a bonus item. So I don't know if the, the extra item is a kit. I su suspect it will be an accessory or something, maybe a pin or a tip or some storage or something. Um, but six kits. So you get three new kits that have never been released before. And then you get a mystery kit that's never been released before. And then you got uh, two what they were calling fan favorite kits. So I know some people didn't purchase it because, well, some people didn't purchase it because of shipping. Some people didn't purchase it because you don't know what you're getting and some people just didn't like that. Um, I, even though I own a lot of Diamond Art Club, I haven't bought from them very recently. So fan favorites, you know, I don't always like what everyone else does. So I took the chance that, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to be okay with whatever they send. If I'm not, I can always use it in a giveaway. Um, so I wasn't too worried about the fan favorites. And then the other four are supposed to be kits that have never been released before. So they shouldn't be duplicates. Um, so for 200 bucks for six kits plus whatever the accessory ends up being, I thought that was too good of a deal to pass up. So I purchased it. So I'm kind of waiting now for it to show up and see what I get. 
Okay, I've got one more of these. Uh, I don't think it's all going to fit in one though, so I will pull another one out here. Anyway, I just can pass it up, so I'm I'm really curious. And then I read on Instagram that someone said they they were going to do two offerings, one one I think at nine Eastern, and then the other one at midnight. I can't, I, I think. But anyway, I got mine the first go round, and then I guess they ran out so quickly the first time that they ended up making another box. So um, it's possible that we'll all get different stuff. So I'm curious for when it, when it comes out to see what it is. Okay, so there is my ladybug all kitted up and ready to go. So again, I'm gonna stick my sticker for my logbook in here so I can put this aside. And that one is now done. And then, which one do I wanna do next? You guys, I just cleaned this and now I got schmutz on it already. Okay, let me do, let me do this one next. Let me show you this one. Again, like I said, these all have big white backgrounds. So it's this cute little unicorn on a skateboard. I thought it was really cute. So let's see, I've got my sticker here. How many colors do I have? I've got 22 colors. I'm trying to look at my other ones and see how many colors I have, I think. So I know which container I wanna kit it up in. I guess I'll just go ahead and use another one of these. So here I've got these, um, I'm doing the unicorn. Let me get my sticker over here. I need to run this, the schematic through my Xyron. So let me start that. Try to run it through here as straight as I can because it always wants to go crooked. See, even when I try to run it on, run it through straight, it ends up going through at an angle. I don't know why it does that. It's like the longer it is, the more crooked it goes. So like little short ones, it's not as bad. But then when you start doing these big long ones, yeah, just, it's kind of crazy. Okay, so let me, I'm going to cut off the side here. Cut off the top. And I could do all of this beforehand so that I wasn't making you guys watch this process, but I figure it's good practice. You know, if somebody's never seen the channel before for you to see how I do it. I don't normally kit up more than one kit at a time, mostly just because I don't normally work on more than one kit at a time. Uh, that's not currently how things are going for me. I, <laughs> my son walked by the dining room table, which is currently occupied with everything that doesn't fit on my drafting table because the drafting table is occupied with all the stuff for my 30 by 30 challenge currently. And he's like, how many of these are you gonna do at once, mom? I was like, well, I've just been unboxing some stuff. I'm not actually going to work on those right now, but I wanted them out and laying down so that people could see them. Okay, let me get these out. These will be faster because they're already in baggies. Now, for those of you who work from baggies, obviously you could just work from the baggies. I just don't, I spill way too often. Oh, and they're not in any kind of order. So let me, let me figure out what goes where. Okay, two, three, and four look like they're all going to fit in one container each. So let me get these stickers off and onto the containers. I have my big Heaven and Earth Designs that is on hold for the moment while I do this sitting there. I have um, my Drills and Chills canvas, which I have not started yet. 
sitting there. I have oh, too many things. I, I haven't kitted up my Craftably Koala yet, but I will be working on that because that's going to be one of my big 10. Um, and, and here I am shopping for more and I bought all of those kits from Diamond Art Club, but you know, I'll get to them all eventually. My husband tells me I should buy all the Diamond Art Clubs I want to now so that I own them all when we move to Canada in case I decide I don't want to pay the shipping to Canada. We'll see. Okay, there's six, seven, and eight. Where's number five? Okay, those all look like they're going to fit in one container each as well. So let me get these off of here. I think the, the color I have the most of in this kit, again, is white. I've got a big bag of white waiting at the end. And I guess, you know, maybe I shouldn't have been avoiding these. That will make it go a little bit faster in that there's going to be a lot of multi-placing because there's a lot of white, which would make it go faster. But I just, the ones with a lot of white are not my favorites. So I was really hoping some of my other ones would come in, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get my wish. So just going to have to bite the bullet and make a mess, apparently. They're not pouring as nicely out of these bags as I want them to. Let me see if I pour from this way, does that help? Okay, that's slightly better. Okay, and then number eight. So I have all of those coming and I still need, because I've bought from Diamond Art Club before, obviously, I still need to figure out some new to me companies that I want to buy from. And I have a feeling that most of them are going to take a while because everybody is shut down for whatever, Corona or whatever's going on over in China again. Okay, nine. I think all of those will also fit in one slot each. So let me get those off of there. That's almost cut, so I'm gonna pull that off. Confused myself there. I think I did it backwards to the way that I was doing it, but it's okay. Get them all on here in order. They'll all be good. So did any of you, I know some of you I saw on Instagram also bought the uh, mystery box, but did you, did you buy it? Did you hear about it? Did you skip it? What did you think? Because I'm assuming that they're probably going to do it again if it's popular, because why wouldn't they? So it'd be interesting to see. I'm really hoping I get some cool kits. You know, I... I have a bunch of stuff that I've purchased. Oh, come on. I want you all to go in there, please, please. All of you get in there. Whew. Okay. Thought for a minute they weren't all going to fit and I was going to have to move all my stickers, which I could do, but I just don't like doing that. Anyway, I... A lot of what they consider or what ends up being popular on Diamond Art Club is not things that I would normally purchase or look at even. So although I will say I have done a couple of kits that I thought, mm, I don't know if I'm really going to like this one and I ended up really liking it. So, so I'm curious if there'll be some that I immediately am just like, mm, no, thank you. Or if there's going to be a few that I'll be like, mm, maybe. Okay, 15, let me get these all. Those all look like they will go in one. So let me get these off of here. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious. The stinky part for me is, you know, as far as, of course, everybody on YouTube wants to be the first one to unbox. 
unless you're somebody who's lucky enough to get sneak peeks from them. And because I live further away from where they ship, other people will get theirs before I get mine. So it will probably be all over Instagram and YouTube about what's in each one before I even get mine. So it's all good though. Some of mine, I end up waiting so long that by the time I go back and talk about them, <laughs> everyone's forgotten about them. So I'm trying to make a list of things that I would like to complete next year, whether it's going to be for an event or whether it's just, um, you know, a goal that I'm setting for myself that I can work on. I have so many big paintings. I think that's my problem is I get distracted by... Well, I don't think it's that I get distracted. Let me rephrase that. I get, because I have the YouTube channel and I'm posting more frequently, um, I think I get bogged down in other, th other things because I need to have things to show you each time I post a video, right? I can't just, I mean, I guess I could, but I don't want to have every video be a whip and chat about hey, look, here's this thing that I've been working on for eons, and that's all you guys ever see. So I've been considering next year going to a less intensive posting schedule for my videos so that, you know, I had some time in between videos to work on some of those bigger projects so I would have things to report in between. I don't know how that's going to pan out yet, so still, still thinking about that. Come on, get out of there. Okay. This one does have a lot of really cute colors in it. Yellows and pinks and some pretty pastels. I was talking at PT, telling my physical therapist about getting sucked down the YouTube hole of watching people clean houses and power wash things. And then we got to talking about the, the games that you could play, the power washing games, and that my son had told me that there was a game where you could mow people's lawns. And I jokingly said, I told my son, you know, I got a lawn right outside you could mow. And one of the physical therapists is, um, she rides a lot of horses and does that kind of, you know, farm stuff, more horseback than farm, but she's very active outdoors and that kind of thing. As I assume most physical therapists are, otherwise you wouldn't be in that job. But anyway, she's like, I know, right? So... I mean, I live someplace rural enough that one of the, the people who came in for physical therapy while I was there was talking about how she'd spent three hours mowing her lawn and she still had two hours left to do. <laughs> and I thought, well, yeah, that's a pretty good commentary on where I live. I'm just going to spill these everywhere, apparently. They're not all going to fit in here. I think I have another three at least maybe that are going to come out of this. Let me, let me get these closed. Whoops. I think some of those can go in there. Okay. So there's that one. So that's three of those. How many more? get these all in here. Ooh, at least two, maybe three. Ooh, I may use up every single slot with as many whites as there are in this kit. Which again, that means I'm going to be doing a lot of multi-placing, so I guess that's good. Okay, let me close that one because that one's pretty full. See if all of these are going to go in this one. 
know if they might. Okay. So those all went in there. Let me clean all this off. Okay. So now I've got all of these kitted up and ready to go for my unicorn one. Moving on to a number three. So again, I'm going to be using one of these 28 slot containers. I am going to do this one next. It's another uh, succulent one. And you can see it has quite a bit of white in the background. Uh, let me show you the kit. Ooh, So it's got quite a bit of white in the background here as well. Let me set that off to the side. This one has 20 colors. So let me run this through my Xyron again. Again, trying to keep it as straight as I can. Okay, that one worked much better. Okay. Peel this off here. I am making a mess all over the floor. That's okay. My trash is overflowing and I need to empty it and I didn't do that before I started, so. That's all right. Okay, so let me cut these. My my stickers look a little funky because the cover sheet, which I normally fold down out of the way when I scan these in, rolled back up on me without me realizing it. So there's like some glare on some of them, but it wasn't bad enough that I felt like I wanted to go back and reprint everything just for like one symbol really that didn't look quite clear and I can tell what it is. So it's all good. It doesn't look like any of the other symbols, so it's not going to be a, a question of which one it is. Okay, so there's all my stickers. I'm going to get all these out of the bags and cut them all apart. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so one, two, three, and four, again, look like they will each fit in one container. So let me get these off of here and put on the containers. And you can see number two here and a little bit of number one, you can see kind of the glare where the cover sheet kind of snuck back into my scan, even though I thought I had pulled it out of the way, but it's fine. It's all good. I know what color it will be. It will all work out. And like I said, I didn't want to waste ink and everything reprinting it just for that one thing when it's not going to be that big of a deal. I like having these big bags, but I will say sometimes when they get like scrunched in, pa in shipping, so then they fold weirdly, makes it difficult sometimes to get all the drills out. Like when they're just flat like this, it's fine. But like this one got a little crunched and it wants to stay that way. So I just want everything to pour nicely. Is that too much to ask? All right, five, six, seven, and eight. Look like they'll all fit in one. That's always the hardest part when you're kidding these up is trying to figure out, at least for me, is figure out what's the best containers to use, which ones makes the most sense. I want to maximize, you know, my storage. So I don't want to take up, I mean, obviously some of my larger kits would not fit in these small storage options anyway. Um, but, you know, I, I want to be, like I want to use it so that it fills it up without overflowing. because that's how you organize it, right? There's another bag that's all kind of crunched up so they don't want to pour out nicely. Let's see if I can make them behave. 
without getting them everywhere. Oh, there's a couple on there. Okay. All right. It's not bad. Ooh, I'm getting close. Over halfway done because not with this kit, but halfway done with the number of kits because this is kit number three. Let me get all my trash out of the way here. Again, all these little pieces just drive me bonkers. Okay. All right. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Look like they will all fit in one. This one I did backwards the way I was doing it again, but as long as they all go where they're supposed to go, that's what matters, right? Knock on wood that I haven't screwed anything up so far. I don't know, is it the smaller number of drills when I'm doing these little kits so I worry less and I make less mistakes as far as doing things like putting on the wrong sticker or... I mean, obviously dumping them everywhere is not as a big a deal because there aren't as many drills, but because I feel like I hurry more with these than I do with some others. You would think hurrying would mean I made more mistakes, but who knows? Sometimes I think it has to do with how much I have on my mind. All right, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think those will all fit in one. Let's find out. Pretty sure they will. I have two bags of white with this one. So we'll see how many slots I need with this one. This one has a lot of pretty colors in it too. It doesn't have as much green as I thought it would for being a, a painting of plants. I guess that's good. That means there are other colors, right? Since most of it is the white background. Okay. 15. We're about to take another road trip, which I'm currently stressing about. You guys know we've been applying for our um, permanent residency in Canada. Okay, so I think they're all going to fit in one, and then 20 will be at the end, but then I will just, because I know they're not all going to fit in one, I will just carry it on to the next row. And since they're at the end, I know it'll be, there'll be plenty of room. Anyway, we've been applying for our permanent residency. And I told you guys in my last whip and chat, we just kind of got things boom, 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 boom. And which is nice in, in some ways, because rather than waiting and stressing about the wait, <laughs> Now we're stressing about, okay, we got to get all these things done because of course everything comes with a time limit. And because we live in the middle of nowhere, that time limit may be a challenge with some things. So we had to get an appointment with someone. There is no one who does what we need done in our state. So we have to travel out of state and I have to take both of my kids with us, even though only one of them is going with us to Canada, we all have to get it done. So um, we all have to go, which has been challenging trying to figure it out because my daughter is now got this job and trying to figure out how to make that work with um, her employment. Thankfully, she has enough other things going on that are nothing to do with us that have kind of put a damper on how quickly she's going to be able to start. 
So it just worked out nicely for us that it's not going to really affect anything with her new job for her to go with us. So I'm thinking my lucky stars about that because that could have been a real headache um, had we had to work around that. Um, so, but it's still a lot of paperwork, a lot of things that we have to get together and it's just stressful, you know? You want to do everything right because we don't want to have to do this process again. Okay, so there is the third kit all done kit up. These are my succulents all ready to go. So I have my last kit. Woohoo! So this one is going to go in my 28 slot container. So I have 21 colors. So let me get a bunch of these out because I'm going to need them. Get them out. Okay, so I've got this. Clean out the dirt. Let me run my stickers through my Xyron and then I can put my Xyron away. Whoops. That did not grab on as quickly as I wanted it to. I hate wasting the Xyron because one, they never seem to have the replacements in stock. So see all of this down here got kind of wasted, which is not fun. I guess I could run them all through at once and have them all ready to go, but maybe I'll do that next time. Maybe that way it would waste less. Okay, so let me cut these. Okay, so I don't need these two pieces. And then let me cut all of these. And then I will show you the canvas and I will grab the drills that go with this canvas so we can see if I'm gonna need duplicates. Um, if, if I have a color that's going to take up more than one container. I have got extra stickers off to the side here if I need them. With the 28 slot ones, because they're connected, I really don't have to worry about putting, oh, cut too far, cutting the stickers off um, or putting extra stickers on because of the way they're connected, but since these aren't connected. So I've got 21 colors. And here's my sticker, it's this cute little Halloween kitty. So let me set that off to the side. Let me show you the canvas. Here's the cute little canvas. And let me set that off to the side. Let me get these drills open and separated and I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I've got all of my stuff laid out. I've got them all cut apart. And I'm just going to start putting stickers on containers. It looks like the first five or six will definitely be able to fit in one container, especially since these are larger than the ones that I've been using. So let me get all these put on here. I can get them to stick to the containers and not my hands. And then I can start pouring them in. Okay. Some of these do not have very many drills at all. So I probably could have used another one of those 28 slot containers, but this is what I have open. So this is what I'm going to use. So, and of course, going to be uncooperative as usual. Let me get all my trash out of the way here and then maybe I can wait until the end to throw my trash away. Maybe. All right. Where did my number four go? There it is. Yeah, those pour in so much easier is one of the reasons why I like these because they have the big wide openings 
So even when you have quite a few drills, it's easier to get them all in here. Okay. Get the next round of stickers. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All look like they will fit in the one slot. Okay, let me make sure I'm got the right putting it on the opening and not on the back. Get them oriented the right way. Okay, that one's on crooked. It'll drive me crazy. Okay. Since this is my last one, trying to pile my trash off here to the side so that I don't need to worry about it being in my way until I get almost to the end, or to the end, I guess. I'm almost to the end now. Okay. Still trying to figure out what I want to do about my new to me companies. Because some of them, you know, I don't want to spend a ton of money, but then also, you know, if you don't spend a certain amount, then you spend almost as much in shipping as you do for the items that you're getting. So, probably should have considered this closer to the middle of the year than the end, but. Oh well, wouldn't be me if I didn't procrastinate. Oops, lost one there. Okay, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all will definitely go in one. I mean, even my big bags would probably go, well, I say that, I don't know, I've got three bags of white and they look like kind of full bags, so maybe they won't all go in one, but we'll see. It would be nice if they did. If they don't, that's okay. That one's crooked. Guys, why am I putting these on crooked all of a sudden? Okay, still not perfectly straight, but it will do. I'm trying to get this done because I haven't diamond painted yet today. And there goes my printer again. Uh, I've been so busy trying to film and get some of my other stuff done. I haven't actually sat down and done any diamond painting yet today. And I need to get on that because one of the days we're going to be spending on the road. Well, by the time you see this, it will probably be the weekend and I will have finished my road trip, but I know, because I live in real time and not YouTube time, that I need to get some of this stuff done. Okay, 16 is kind of big. So let me see if this is all going to fit in one container. And then if it won't, then I can see. It might though, because like I said, these are big containers. Oh, it definitely will. Okay, cool. So that fit all in one. So those all definitely will fit in one. And that leaves number 21, which is the white, for me to see how many containers I need. Okay. Ooh, I'm so excited. This may be the last kidding up that I need to do for my 30 by 30 challenge, unless I happen to get lucky and somehow, well, one, get the other 30 by 30s that I've ordered. Because I think after these four, I don't have any more full drill ones. I think the only ones I have left are partials. So I could still do those, but they won't be full rounds. Um, I've got some full rounds on order. So if they get here and if I get everything else done in time, I might get more than 30 done but we'll see. It's 
kind of getting towards the end of that. Oops, I have all of these here. Okay, so let me put my sticker on this one. And then I've got, let me try to put my sticker on straight on this one. And then I've got three bags. So let's see if each one is going to take a container. They're not as full as they might be. Okay, so yeah, I can get a few more in that one, but I'm definitely gonna need a second one. So let me get another one open. That one's pretty full. So let me put that one in there and open a third one just in case I can't get all of these in there. Let's see if I can. Can I get all these in there? Maybe. Oh, there's a few left. Okay. Yes, got them all in two containers. Okay. So I'm going to ignore my trash for the minute. Here are all of my Halloween kitty ones done. So I'm going to put my sticker with that. So I now have my last, I think, four kits done. The kitty, the plants. Whoops, let me get that shut the unicorn and the ladybug. So those will be my last four that I work on, I think. Well, I may do them in any order, but these are the last ones I need to kit up anyway. So there you go. That's hopefully my last uh, kitting up for my 30 by 30 challenge. So thanks for sticking around till the end of the video, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't out already. That helps me out even more. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching.